tunawachukua hapa mabarabarani tuna identify wale ambao hali zao ni mbaya zaidi tunawapeleka katika center ambao tumefungua iko militini ambayo inashughulika na matibabu na makao yao kwa hivyo tunafanya home care pia kuweza kuwafundisha jinsi ya kurudi tena maisha yao kama vile walikuwa mambo ya usafi mambo ya ulaji bora na mambo mingi na wengine pia saa hizi tumeanza kuwafundisha kazi za mikono kwa hivyo iko center ambayo tumefungua na tumewajengea na mpaka tumejenga hospitali kwa sasa ndani inaendelea kuhakikisha kwamba wanapata huduma zaidi inayofaa wengine familia zao uh, wengi tunaokota hawana familia lakini baadaye tunatafuta mpaka tunapata familia na tunapata familia tunafanyia familia counseling ili ule mtu asimwachilie wajua kwamba ni mwanadamu kama sisi na zaidi anachohitaji ni matibabu na a lot of care pengine tuweza kusikia na naweza kusema tangu tuanze sasa ni mwaka mmoja na kwa sababu tulianza wakati wa covid unajua wakati wa covid hii situation ya mental health ilikuwa mbaya zaidi kwa sababu wengi walikuwa sasa hawajijui hawajitambui na kuna watu ambao pia biashara zao zilikuwa zimeathirika kulikuwa na watu walipata ma depression so ni wakati ambao tulianza na mpaka dakika hii tunaona imefaulu kwa sababu karibu wagonjwa moja na ishirini walopitia katika mikono yetu wamepata nafu na wamerudi katika familia zao ambaye anatusaidia kazi nyingi zaidi kwa hivyo na si yeye peke yake kuna mwingine pia anaitwa Karisa ambaye alikuwa hajijui ajitambui na leo ndio anapeleka ile facility ni kazi nyingi wanafanya wao wenyewe wanajipanga wao wenyewe kwa hivyo ni kuonyesha kwamba ni mambo mema yanayoendelea pale tusiona train Mimi sasa staili yote ukitaka utakuja umuone kioko ndio atakayekunyoa na kukusafisha kila sehemu. Kwa hivyo kioko sasa amebobea. Amekuwa mwenzetu pale kama mfanyajikazi mwenzetu. Na amerudi nyumbani na familia yake. Ametaka tumwajiri sisi wenyewe. Kwa hivyo hivi sasa ni kama mwajiri wetu. Tumeona kwa sababu hakutaka kurudi katika yale mazingira aliyokuwa kwa sababu inaonekana ni kama maradhi aliyapatia kule mtaani. So akatuomba tumpe hiyo nafasi tusimrudishe nyumbani na tuweze kumfundisha kazi na tukae naye. Kwa hivyo mpaka sasa kioko tunaishi naye na kama tutamwachilia basi tatubidi lazima tufungulie biashara yake. Watu wanapata ugonjwa wa taira kutokana na sababu kitayo maradhi. Na pia ukivuta bangi kutumia hizi drugs ambao mbaya mbaya pia inaleta ile maradhi. Kuna mama tulimchukua ameshikwa na maradhi kwa sababu ya kuzaa. Uchungu ulimshika mpaka akashindwa kuvumilia kichwa kikamruka. Malaria inaleta hao maradhi. Kwa hivyo naweza kusema ni maradhi kama maradhi mengine. Kwa hivyo tuache ili itikadi ni uchawi, huyu amerogwa, huyu anakaa, siwe sija na nini. Tuchukulie ili janga kwamba ni maradhi na nikipata matibabu mtu anarudi sana. Na pengine mkimshika lazima kwa sababu kama sasa kumekuwa hali si hali. Kwa hivyo tunajaribu kuchukua sample. Kwa hivyo kile kitu tutafanya tukiwachukua leo tunaenda tunawaeka kando kando. Alafu najaribu kuzungumza tupate mtu akuchukulia sample. Kwa sababu last time wakati tulishika kuna wale walikuwa wameathirika. Kwa hivyo hatutaki tena kurudia ile course. Na ile organization ambayo inaitwa Organization hilo swali lako ni nzuri. Mombasa imekuwa na hiyo matatizo ya hawa watoto pia ambao wako kwenye street na pia wanawake wenzetu ambao sasa hivi ukipita utaona wanawake na watoto wachanga unakuta saa nyingine mtoto hata anastahili kuwa shule lakini ako na mama barabarani kama sisi Mombasa Women Empowerment tunajipanga kwa sababu yule mama pale ni shida iko pale imemweka pale anaona aki atakapoomba ndio maisha yake atakuwa rais lakini mama yule yule atakapokwenda kusomeshwa na apatiwe kazi yake anaweza fanya na akaweza kujisaidia kama Mombasa Women Empowerment tumejiandaa tayari tukimalizana na hama mambo ya mental tunarudi barabarani kwa kina mama wenzetu ambao wako barabarani na wale watoto wanaozunguka wale watoto kweli tunaweza wadharau lakini wale watoto unapomchukua kweli ufungie na uweze kumpatia chakula na uweze kumpatia kasi mtoto yule yule ambaye watu wanamuita chokora kantan na awe mtu mwema zaidi kwa hivyo sisi tuna believe tunaweza kufanya trans, uh, transformation ya, ya kila kitu kwa sababu hawa watoto wetu ambao tunawaona mabarabarani wanaweza badilika naweza kwa transform maisha yao na kawa watoto wema kabisa. Kwa hivyo mimi naomba kwa sasa tushikane pia na county government. Ili tuje pamoja, tutawarai, tutawaomba ili tufanye kazi pamoja, tuweze kuondoa hawa kina mama na watoto, na tuweze kuondoa watoto wanaurandaranda na kuwapatia makao. Ikiwa 
mtu ambaye hana akili barabarani tumeweza kumpa makao na leo amekuwa mtu wa kisawa sawa tunakuambia ndio mwenyekiti kama mnavyoona hapa leo tumejiunga kuja jointly eh, kufanya joint participation na hii nini mabasa mimi nimeko the problem sisi we deal with a, a lot of other chart nini uh, issues kwa my team na nini lakini imebidi tuingilie mambo haya tukwenda ku visit facility yake huyu tutaona watu tunaonesha how they were before and how they are after a big transformation within few months ha watu wengi sisi tume outcast tume wadharau wako nje lakini the moment they are taken to the facility kule wana wana treatment care kila kitu unanyolewa manyele they are dressed differently unbelievable in one or two months mtu anabadilika hata huwezi kusema kwamba ndio the same person who actually got my paper hapa so that has inspired us na tumeenda tumepeleka chakula tumeita nao tume spend the whole day there now so this time to kasema we will we'll go in the streets now we went to the facility we got trained how to handle them so to, here we are today we are ready to go watu wako pale nikamuliza where you must be a big organization she's just a cbo she has managed to collect all those people there this is something which the county can do the government can do we've just neglected it at the anani she doesn't get funding from abroad wala nini she does it literally nini penny by penny whatever she gets ndo anajenga kama sasa hii anajenga she is building a nini or clinic there i think she will she needs a lot of help if not the county the government should come and help her this is some this is something happening within our nini going on the street kids it's the same thing hawa the more they 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 they, they, they are more, more, most of them they opportunities come kuja hapa wana mbwa mbata kuna it's like a gold mine now how to deal with it we need to from county level there need to be a network of uh, organizations county the government then we can facilitate all these things thank you